Okay, so I have the corn chowder simmering. Now I am going to show you how to make the best grilled cheese sandwich. When I was growing up, my mother did not know how to make grilled cheese sandwiches. She was Spanish and she just never heard of a grilled cheese sandwich. So I used to go to my friend's house, Louise, and her mother would make grilled cheese sandwiches. And so I went home and I asked my mother to make a grilled cheese sandwich. She didn't even know what it was. So I said, it's toast with cheese in the middle. So she got cheese and put it in between two pieces of bread and put it in the toaster. Well, needless to say, that toaster was totally destroyed because the cheese just melted down into it. Um, but then a few days later, she made me a real grilled cheese. I think she went over and talked to Louise's mother to ask her how to make a grilled cheese. And um, later on, when I was in junior high school, I would live at Nancy's house and one day the mother was making grilled cheese and I could see she was burning them. And I was like, no, 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 Mrs. Kimball, no, no, no. So I took over and made the grilled cheese. And do you know what she said? I make the best grilled cheese she had ever tasted. And so a number of times after that, yeah, I ended up making grilled cheeses at Nancy's house. So what you do is you have your bread cake. Okay. So this is how Mrs. Grand Champ made them. Take, and I like to use the, um, you know, the spreadable stuff. So you put some, this is the inside of the sandwich. I'm just making it the way she made it. And the way I've been making it forever. Okay, don't OD with it, but you know. Now we have this wrapped cheese. It does taste a lot better if you just get the real American cheese from the deli. I'll put two slices on each. Now, the trick to the grilled cheese is the pan. The pan has to be just right. So I have the frying pan heating up on the stove. So you butter the tops. All right, now I have the frying pan. All right, it's on a medium heat. And let me check that chowder. So this pan is fine. Put that down and put that down. And now I shall add butter to the top. And I know it seems like a lot of butter, but it's just the way you do it. So that is cooking. I'm going to go back to the chowder and just say, okay, so it says once the potatoes are tender, reduce heat and mash to desired consistency. Hmm, I think it's kind of thick already. I don't know if I really need to mash things, but I can. So here's my masher and I am going to mash I guess that makes the um, soup thicker. I like to follow the instructions just because that's what they say to do. So I have never mashed potatoes in a chowder before. Put that back on the heat and let's check the grilled cheese. Ooh, look how nice it looks. Ooh, it'll get flipped again, but that pan is just right. All right, so I have those potatoes mashed. Now it says to stir in the cream cheese. I hate to take this off here and switch sides because I just don't want to. Now the cheese is melting nice and slow. Slowly I turn, step by step inch by inch Whoa. i know i'm not well well i'm just going to tell you what it is that i'm going to do so now the directions say to stir in the cream cheese and half of the charred corn until cream cheese is fully incorporated 
So as I am talking, I am squeezing in the cream cheese and I shall incorporate it. Let's take a look at these. It's a slow cook, a very slow cook. Now the directions for the chowder say to stir in half of the charred corn and a squeeze of lime juice. Here is the charred corn. So I put all of the corn in because the directions were to add half and then put the other half in each bowl. But it's all going the same place, right? And add a squeeze of lime juice. So here's the lime. and I am squeezing it into the chowder. Oh yeah, look at that. Just look at that. Oh my word. This is going to be good to dunk into the chowder. This is perfect. Just perfect. And this is all done. Let's take a peek underneath. A couple of moments more. It is now time to do the chowder. Oh. Oh, it does look good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It's nice and thick. That's because of the mashing of the potatoes. When you slice your potatoes, they should all be the same size so that they cook at the same time. That is good. There might be some in there for Lou Richie to take to work tomorrow. Now it says to add cheese. And the green part of the scallions. That looks wonderful. Put those aside. Time for the grilled cheeses. Perfection. You know, I, as a rule, if you know me, you know I do not like to cook. But since I'm home, because I am retired, I feel an obligation to make sure that dinner is made for Lou Ritchie. And these meal plans from um, Every Plate makes it really, really easy. All right, let's see now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And look, that cheese is perfectly melted, perfectly melted. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you liked and learned something. And um, the chowder is from every plate, but the grilled cheese is from Annie Lou. So you take care, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, like, comment, and I would certainly appreciate that. You take care. Bye-bye now.